this is our earth and different distance the satellite are flown they are in orbit because of various reason sometimes you want the earth observation satellite sometime you want location sometime you want uh, say weather so at 36000 km at a distance of this much it is geostationary geosynchronous then we have the middle earth orbit meo then we have low earth orbit so middle earth orbit is around about uh, 20000 around 20000 km this is not the exact figure uh, when we we discuss more you will understand that the the height from the earth is somewhat different for different satellites and leo is also varying so let me just uh, say that 800 km to 1000 km but, but it goes up to 6 from 600 to 1400 so this is leo earth observation satellite geostationary geosynchronous for communication and for weather but at meo that is middle earth normally we have the satellites those providing the location so these are mainly gnss satellites so gnss stands for global navigation satellite system that is it has to cover it will cover whole earth whole globe so this is an umbrella term that takes care and encompasses all the gpss so this includes the constellation of satellite orbiting the earth surface transmitting signal and determining the position that we have gps so gps global positioning system is one of the four gnss so we have four global gnss systems this is gps navstar gps united states then we have russian federation gronas and we'll be talking about all these then european union we have galileo and then bedao bedao is the chinese one so they are covering whole whole uh, world globe then we have the two regional systems as well that is qzss japan and irnss or now it is called as navik which is indian constellation so whichever satellite